Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Butterfly. But you can call me Fly. And for this week's COD Wednesday, we're going to be going ahead and taking a look at the campaign premiere here for MW3. Gonna go in here, hop into this completely blind, and see what we're getting ourselves into. I'm not gonna have you guys sit through this whole entire thing of me just reacting to this because you guys probably have already seen this yourselves. This is going to be so cool in the campaign. Part of me wants to see a lot of this campaign. I also don't at the same time. Because this is definitely going to be my favorite mission. Hands down. Very much about the scenery and whatnot. It looks really good though. I mean it looks almost exactly like MW2. But it looks good. You know like I said it's basically MW2 with an MW3 sticker on it. Actually really getting a little bit hyped for this game. It almost seems like everything from the trailer the other day is what they're showing right here in this mission. Most of it at least. I'm really hoping that this is one of those missions that are kind of like they have this new system within the campaigns that kind of allows you to have this sort of free roam sort of scenario in certain parts of it. I feel like it's just for cushion space and the timing of the campaign. Maybe it is a new thing that they're trying to explore and whatnot. I'll, I'll say, yeah, it might be, but I feel like a good portion of why they're doing it and having this sort of open combat, open world sort of thing happen at certain parts in the campaign just for cushion time. For it to seem like it lasts longer than what it actually is. Pretty much looks a lot like MW2, but a little bit better, just ever so slightly. I am very curious as to what true movement's gonna look like for multiplayer, Warzone, things of that nature. I'm curious as to what movement's gonna look like for that. Here, it didn't really show anything. This basically straight up looked like MW2. We're gonna have some sort of open combat, open world sort of system within the campaign here and there. Whenever I was seeing the clips, I honestly was getting some real Far Cry sort of vibes. Maybe Battlefield's a little bit of a better sort of comparison there because the one clip throwing C4 onto a four-wheeler or something and they sent it up over a little hill and it blew up beside a helicopter. I think it's cool. It does seem like a something from other games sort of scenario. Like I said, I thought it looked Far Cry-ish or Battlefield-like or whatever where this is to me still feeling a little bit like MW2. I want to see what really sets MW3 apart from MW2. So I'm excited to see whenever they finally drop some zombie stuff. I feel like they're going to maybe do something between the window of the beta times and then the release date time. Maybe since Halloween falls in between there, zombies and Halloween, it all kind of fits. So maybe they'll do something in MW2 itself as some sort of event. And then if not that, then we're just going to have to wait until the game drops November 10th, I guess. But yeah, like I said, not much else to say. That's our first little bit of gameplay we actually got here of the campaign. Probably not how most of us would play the campaign. I think it looks crispy. I like it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just looking a little bit more forward to whatever the zombies is going to be like. I'm hoping that it's going to be a decent experience. That's it for this one, though. And with that, peace out, Monarch Militia. And as always, spread love, radiate positivity, and try to smile. See you.